Hello and welcome back to Doom 2 for map 8, Tricks and Traps, one of the most infamous levels in Doom 2. Now at the beginning here we have a choice of 8 doors to go through, obviously 2 of them require a key. I'm going to go through them in the order which I, makes, uh, which I think makes the most sense. That is to start with this door on the left hand side here, just to the left of the red key room. I'm going to have my super shotgun equipped to deal with this at the end here. With him down. Get ready, because when you approach this chainsaw at the end, wall's going to open ahead of you. Baron Hell's going to spawn in and then teleport behind you. So let's switch to our bazooka here and take him out. Okay, no problem there. At the end here, there's some ammo and some armor, but of course I picked up a mega sphere just before coming into this room. Let's go to our chainsaw briefly, and we're going to go through the door just to the right of the yellow key room now. Take him out. And then Cacodemons are going to flood into the room, so let's have our bazooka equipped. Wait for all this fire to go past, and then fire back. Oh, he's a bit closer than I expected him to be. This dead body right at the entrance is not making this easy for me. I think there's only one left at the far end now. In. And down he goes. Simple as that. The bazooka makes this room quite easy. At the end here, there's some ammo for our plasma rifle. We're going to need that later on. And a switch, which is going to open a wall at the back of the next room we're about to go into, which is just through here. And on the right hand side, you can see an ungodly amount of demons here. Now, it's quite easy just to switch to our bazooka here and take them out. So, we're going to do just that. Well, they can't fight back. It's their own fault for getting themselves up there. Okay, with them all dead, let's pick up these rockets, and you'll see when I walk away from this edge here. Not only does the door close behind me, locking me in, but the steps are going to raise up to that platform, allowing the demons to get down into the fight. Now, let's go around here, collecting all this ammo for our rocket launcher. Gonna go up here, where there's a switch at the end of each uh, little alcove here. I'm gonna hit the one on the right first, which is gonna open up this wall at the back. Now, ordinarily, this would open up into a second door, however, the switch we hit in the previous room with the Cacodemons is the one that's required to open the wall that would be just here. Now, this is a secret here. When I approach the soul sphere, I'm actually going to step around it. More demons are going to flood into the room. So let's have our chainsaw here and take them out. There will be a lot of chainsaw work here. But I'm going to stay in this passageway, that way they can't sneak up on me. I'm going to try them. Right, we have a soul sphere at the end. We've also got some enemies that are probably coming down from where the soul sphere currently is. Chains are, of course, the perfect weapon for dealing with demons. Oh, there's someone behind me there. Not around me. the chainsaw. Alright. Oh, one left. There we go. That's them dealt with. Now, let's continue on. I'll uh, wait for until I'm done with the end room here. A couple of shotgunners all around this area. Pick them up. With them all dead, I'm sure I'm not going to take any more damage. And come back, pick up that soul sphere. Pick up all these backpacks as well should bring me close to full ammo and pretty much everything here. One more thing to do in this room though, and that is to approach this wall, open fire on it to raise the wall up, and inside we get our first BFG of Doom 2. We're going to be putting that to use shortly. First I'm going to go back to the chain gun though, because I've got tons of ammo for it. Oh yeah, and to get out of this room we're going to have to hit the opposite switch here, which raises the door again. Now I've got a couple more doors to choose from. I'm going to go with the next one round here. Now there's a teleporter here, you can see when I step back there's actually a third teleporter in the center here, but no obvious way of getting to it. To get to it, open fire on this and step through, be ready to deal with these tank demons though, and then threat all those specters. So I'll try to line them up so they can't uh, hurt me. One down, second one down, let's finish off those specters. Where did the other specter go to? Is he teleported away? Oh well, you know what, we'll leave him. Now, when we step in into this room ahead of us, 
you'll see in this lake of poison below me. If I watch this wall here, it lowers down, so I need to quickly run down here, grab the radiation suit, deal with this spectre behind me, then move around the room, pick up another radiation suit, partial invisibility, lots of other goodies here. And the way out of here is this teleporter just here. Now I want to step through, I'm going to be back in the same room, and I'm standing on top of a box of bullets here. You can't actually pick up that box of bullets because it's on the teleporter, so walking into it normally would teleport you away rather than give you the ammo. There's a couple other things to do in this room. We're about to be introduced to a brand new enemy, one of the worst enemies in Doom 2. And to do so, I need to fire at this wall here, which is going to raise up that corner. And the pin elementals are going to flood into the room. And these guys, they actually spit out more lost souls. I'm ignoring the lost souls here. As you see, when they die, uh, they just spawn even more. So I might as well pick up those pain elementals as quick as possible to prevent them from spitting even more. Shot the opposite wall there, which is going to release yet more pain elementals and more souls into the room. Again, focusing on that pain elemental first. So many more souls going around here, but some of them will be inviting, so. And now I can take out the souls. This guy gets special treatment. Double blast from the shotgun. Take him out. Now, what hitting these walls also did was open up little alcoves at the end here. Each one is a secret. So there we go. We are finished in this room, and we can step through the teleporter, bringing us out into this room, which we haven't been in yet before. Now, around this corner, I'm going to switch to my regular shotgun, because around this corner are several rooms. And down below, you can see dozens more. Now, those ones below me are actually going to start teleporting out behind me. So, with the regular shotgun equipped, you take them on. Shot from two sides here. Never mind. Regular shotgun. Great weapon for this room. One hit kill on all these imps. Getting close enough. See how many that are flooded in the room here. They're still coming. Oh. At least one more. I think he might have been the last one. Yep, it looks clear now, so I can drop off this ledge, and you'll see approaching this wall here will teleport you back up to that um, entryway. Now, when we teleported into this room ourselves, we couldn't have gone through the door ahead of us. It's locked. The only way to open it is with this skull key here, Jim. Uh, not a skull key, sorry, it's a skull switch. So let's hit that, teleport up ourselves, and now we can step through back into the center room. Here's the one we just came from. Now we've got a couple more rooms to deal with before we go into either of the lock. In fact, no, no, we've already been in this one, hasn't it? Yeah, this was the long corridor. So, final room then. Let's switch to our brand new weapon here, the BFG. Full ammo for it, that's gonna help us. Because on the right hand side here, look how many barons of hell we've got. But that's not even the worst thing. The far end of this room, the first cyber demon of Doom 2. Now, I'm gonna step behind this invulnerability here. And I'm gonna wait for the cyber demon to do as much damage as possible. Now, while these guys are fighting each other, they're not fighting me, so hopefully the Barons of Hell will take out the Cyber Demon. There's enough of them. See, he's actually really confused here. He's not actually fighting back. You can make him fire more often just by positioning yourself uh, in a better angle. Look how many he's woken up. As soon as he goes down, I'm picking up this invulnerability fit, uh, sphere and opening fire on him. Now, just like the room with the imps, approaching the stairs here down to their area is going to teleport you up into a previous room. I'm a bit concerned here, he seems to be taking out more barons of hell than I'm used to. And down he goes, let's pick up the invulnerability sphere and open fire. Last guy here, let's finish him off with this super shotgun. Save my cells. Down he goes. At the end here we have a key which is going to open the door out of this room as well as a blue skull key, or it's not blue is it, it's uh, yellow. Let's hit that and pick up the soul sphere on the way out and we're done in this room. So into the yellow key room now. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Can't see with the invulnerability on. Okay, penultimate room then. It's an uh, interesting design here, there's actually a gap all the way around the edge of the room. I'm going to switch to my plasma rifle which we're going to need shortly. 200% health which is good but not a huge amount of armour. 
think it was the Megasphere as well, so I will have a decent amount of uh, health. Now, when I pick up the red key here, all around the room, walls are going to lower. I want to get around this corner as quick as possible. Do not get trapped uh, where you picked up. Red key. Probably save myself actually. Let's go back to our super shotgun. One more Baron of Hell here. I think he's the last enemy of the map. Okay, you'll see as well, this platform behind me has dropped into the acid. So careful you don't run around this corner. I think I didn't even notice that when I ran around. You need to hit this switch first. That will raise the platform. And I can get back out of here. Last room then and the room that probably makes this map the most difficult or most infamous. Ahead of me, I've got several blocks leading around this corner. As soon as I step into the room, they're gonna start lowering. So I've got just one chance to get through this room. <laughs> and I very nearly mucked it up. Look at that, I was so close to falling off that platform. I didn't actually trigger it to fall into the ground. Let's hit the exit switch, kill the final demon, and we are done with tricks and traps. Okay, how did we do? Will our 100% item streak continue? Yes, it does. Okay, 100% secrets as well. I should say, if my voice sounds a bit weird in this video, it's because I've got a cold. I'm trying not to sniff or cough too much. Look at that, 11 minutes, blimey. Long level, that one. Uh, I really like it, actually. It's good fun, uh, though a lot of people hate it, especially for that final room. In, uh, or if you are struggling too much with that final room, there is actually a cheats way out of the map. If you run forwards onto the first block and then immediately backtrack out of there, uh, I think a couple other teleporters open up earlier in the map. One of which uh, is in the room with all those cacodemons where we did, uh, where we went near the beginning of the level. I think it's down towards the end on the opposite side of where that switch was. And uh, yeah, that will teleport you to the final room where that demon is and uh, allow you to avoid all those lowering platforms. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow at 6 o'clock for map 9 of Dune 2, The Pit.